Hello YouTube, good afternoon. Time for a Kmart video. I'm at the Woodman Drive Kmart here in Riverside on the border of East Dayton. This is the only Kmart I have not filmed in the area. It's towards the first of the month, Saturday afternoon, so all the SSI checks, all the SSD total disability and social security checks just came out you know in the last couple days as well as people off work before the Ohio State game so this store just based on the parking lot I'm gonna say has anywhere from maybe 50 to 100 customers in the lot right now and which this store is supposed to be their number one store in the area as far as their sales go so this one looks like this will be the the last one to fall of the bunch when that when that time comes in and also in this area they really don't have a whole lot of competition per se at this Kmart because you have to go four or five miles east of here to Beaver Creek to find a Walmart in this part of town I live only a few miles from here it's it's not good but it's not really bad over there would probably be most of the employees section right here but I would say number of people in the store at least over 50 but at this time of day after people just got paid there should probably be in the hundreds of customers right now but you see people walking in the store right now so maybe they'll survive here So this Kmart, you know, appears to be doing far much better than all the other ones I filmed. As you see a few aisles there, the pharmacy's not open today. But it's such surprising it being Saturday that they're not open. And I filmed the other Kmarts I filmed at peak shopping hours too. And this is also peak shopping hours. So this one definitely looks like it's got a good chance to... to this will be the last one that falls of the bunch. Whenever that may happen. Looks like they've closed their garden center for the years. Looks like they only got a few things out here though. Just looking around. I've also got their Christmas decorations out. It's kind of early for it yet. It's early October. They moved a lot of their appliance section over here from Sears and they've and they've thinned out their electronics section massively. That section over there used to be more of the electronics section. I think just based on what I've seen, this Kmart out of all the ones in the area will be the last one that gets closed. Oh yeah, will be the last. 
because the Indian Ripple store, the Anglewood store, and the Springboro store at peak hours were just doing absolutely horrendous. Not even 20 people. Us. Yeah. We're, we're crushed right now. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I've been in those stores at 4 or 5 o'clock on a Thursday or Friday. You don't even find 20 people in their yeah. stores. We're getting crushed. So, that, so, the, so it looks like this one, when it's all said and done, will be the last one to fall. So, whether or not this store, for whatever reason, is more successful, they, they apparently are doing things better here. But we will see how long this is actually going to last for. I think it's safe to say this Kmart will be the last one in the area that finally falls when it's all said and done. Because when I've been inside the uh, the other three in the area, they, they don't even have 20 people at this time of day. And you guys probably got closer to 50 to 100. Because when I, when I, because you mean, I'm, I'm just making a video for my YouTube page just showing how this one's doing compared to the other ones. But this one... Looks like it'll be the last one to fall because I definitely look for the other three to possibly more than likely to, to all get the hammer. Because the one in Springboro at like 5 o'clock on a Friday, there was only, there wasn't even 20 people in this store. Indian Ripple on a Saturday afternoon at this time was just absolutely horrendous. So this will be the last one to fall. So, cause so you, so you might be the one working for the last known survivor in the Dayton area. But anyway, this this store's got a good. This store will survive as long as Kmart does not drop the bankruptcy hammer. This will be the last Kmart that, that falls because all the others at this time of day in the area don't even have 20 people in them. <laughs> there are the, uh, the other ones are all just doing really bad. Because it seems to be doing okay. Because like when I, I was inside the Springboro one a few months ago at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, there wasn't even 20 people in this store. Is that right? Indian oh. Ripple the same way, Anglewood the same way. Well, they this, well, they're, they're going to have to because you can't survive off of 15 or 20 customers on a Friday afternoon. Yep. So. And if you guys noticed during my other videos, there was, there was barely anybody ever in the clothing areas either how you doing here this will be the last kmart that falls because all the others in the area don't even have at this time of day wouldn't even have 20 people inside of them the one the one in springboro at five o'clock on a friday I, I'm, I'm making videos for my youtube page it, it didn't it didn't it didn't even have 20 people at five o'clock on a friday anglewood at six o'clock on a weekday was it even 15 the one by the green wasn't even 10 what are you doing, surveying the customers? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm making a video to show people the actual condition of their stores because there's a chance that Kmart's going to end up going bankrupt altogether and closing up because it's looking really bad. This will be the last remaining Kmart that falls in the area. Hey, look at this. You got layaway here. Kmart just started this no money down layaway, so it looked like about seven or eight people. 
and lay away. I think their lay away at this location will be safe, but at the other three, the Indian Ripple, the Anglewood Store, and uh, and the Springboro one, I got advice for you. Don't put anything in layaway at those stores because they're going to close any time during the next round of closers. So, but the other Kmart's in the area, I filmed them. And if you guys saw my video in Eaton, when I did that video, that was on a Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock after people got paid. There wasn't even 15. This will be the last remaining Kmart that falls when it happens. The, the other Kmarts at this time of day wouldn't even have 20 customers. I Because, you know, I because I filmed the other stores during peak business hours. They didn't even have 20 customers. This will be the last one that closes. So you guys might end up getting a flood of their employees once they once they shut the Indian Ripple Store, Anglewood, and Springboro. Because they're at at this time of day, on a Saturday or a Friday, they don't even have 20 customers. They're they're not gonna make it. So it is safe to say this will be the last Kmart that actually, that will actually fall. Yeah, you see people in the clothing areas. The Little Caesar section, it's really past lunchtime. Looks like an employee there having lunch. It looks like they got four registers open. The other Kmarts have only had maybe two open at the most. So anyway, this is a rare sight at a Kmart. So you won't see this at the other Kmarts in the area at all. I have a few people bringing back stuff to their line, but so there you have it, YouTube. This will be the last Kmart in the area that falls, because I, I I believe this one will have a chance to hang around at least until Kmart files for for bankruptcy and uh, so this store is doing is doing pretty good right now but are they doing good enough to survive long term I think realistically you would think just based on the crowd in there you could probably just assume just based on what I've showed in other videos, probably a Walmart right now would have probably three or four hundred customers in there right now. But as I said, there's not a Walmart near this particular store. The Walmart is around four or five miles east of here. And I can guarantee you right now, they probably got three or four hundred people. I'm going to say number of people in the store. I'm going to say anywhere from 50 to 100. You know. So this one will be the last one that falls but uh good anyway that's gonna be it for this one I can't believe I actually am actually making this video I can't believe I'm actually getting to make a Kmart video where a store that's not actually dying like crazy unlike all the others that I've filmed but that's it for this one from the Woodman Drive Kmart in Riverside East Dayton area